I'm just thrilled that the new countdown works. Like, it actually fucking works. And it looks like the old one, but slightly improved, but also rebuilt from scratch in the last, like, two and a half days. So, honestly, I'm very proud that I made a thing. I feel like Doc Brown. I finally invent something that works. Which I say this about once a year, but, you know, it's still no less... Woo! Than when I do it the last time or whatever. Um, also, at some point I will be eating, so just fair warning, because uh, we ordered dinner a little over two hours ago, and it's... Boy, it'll be here soon. It'll be here soon. Um, What'd you get? Pizza. It says it'll be here. In... No, that's not correct. No. But anyway, we ordered pizza. We ordered it uh, two a little over two hours ago. We actually ordered it like right at five o'clock. So uh, we'll see how that goes. It'll be fine. I'm not worried about it. It'll be fine. Um, let's see what else. Yeah, I want to go over the. Uh, I want to play with this a little bit more, and I want to show you some of the cool stuff that I will eventually be able to do with this, and maybe make some of it work. I don't know yet, but we'll see how it goes. Um, and then, yeah, I think Tom is doing. I think Tom is doing vroom vroom cars tonight. And, um, Lolly's here because um, he's contractually obligated to be here. Um, by a very real and definitely not made up contract that's that totally exists and uh, I'm glad I'm here too thanks Pearly um, I'm glad I'm here too uh, yeah we're just I'm just gonna uh, I guess this is the part where I can just start uh, start messing with it so uh, let's uh, let's do this thing Let's do it. All right, so here's this big old page. It is mostly style sheets, honestly. Like, it is it is so much style sheets. Hey, White Shadow, welcome in. It was good to meet you, too. Good to meet you, too, man. Welcome in. Glad you could be here. Uh, let me see. Am I... Let me... I might have to fix this. Let's see. Let me fix something. Da, 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 da. I have to go look at my modem. I will be RB. Okay, go look at your modem. Uh, let me fix that real quick. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. Done. Fixed. Yeah, I met White Shadow at the um, at the game on to in lupus like the community meetup that we had on saturday at twitchcon so that was really cool and let me shout him out real quick there we go perfect there you go pal welcome in um Do, 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 do. Okay, uh, should I get some music going again? I probably should. I liked the Zelda and Chill. That was nice. What's the, uh... Of course, man, absolutely. That's that'll give me an hour until I have to do something else with it. Yeah, let's uh let's see here. Let's change the audio output to Oh, is it doing it automatic? Is it magic? Is it is did it do it magically? I don't know that it did. Nope, it sure didn't. There we go. Let 
There we go. Do some more of the game shops. I'm interweb shopping. Why are you why are you interweb shopping? What are you shopping uh, for? Interwebs. Oh, like as in providers? Yes, because uh our current one decided that today in the middle of the work day was a good time to just, you know, go and die. So we were like, mm, no, I don't I don't think so. No, no, I don't I think no. But what if what if it didn't though? What if it didn't? Sadly, this means I am probably running back into the arms of Spectrum. Oh, buddy, I'm sorry. I really wish they had, like, legit fiber in your neighborhood. They <clears> do. <throat> That's the thing. It, like, it runs on the main <clears throat> street. They just won't put it down our road for whatever reason. Well, that's, like, that's what I mean. It goes down Sunset. I'm so mad. Like, it's in our neighborhood. It's just... I know. I know. It's... Good. The whole thing is just, it's trash. And I'm sorry, buddy. Hey, but you know what? Ooh. Tomorrow we're going to have Never Ending Pasta Bowl together, and that's going to be Sh nice. Shit, are. Oh, love Never Ending Pasta Bowl. Holy shit. Um, okay, so let's go over, let's see what we got here. Um, Ooh, my modem is compatible with the one gig internet. Nice. I also have uh, a modem if you need one. I got one sitting in somewhere because I don't use, I don't, I'm not using coax. Oh yeah, I love the never ending pasta bowl. Like never ending pasta, okay, white shadow, let me explain a couple of things. One, we talk about food here a lot. And two, sometimes I eat food. Three, we talk about food even more. And four, um, you will get hungry if you spend enough time here. It's going to happen, pal. So buckle in and grab a snack because you're going to need it. This is just what we do. We love our food. Um, I'm, I'm a fat kid. What can I say? It's, I'm, it's very I'm on brand. I am considering light breakfast, no lunch tomorrow, specifically for optimum space mm. for the never-ending pasta. You should do... You should do light breakfast, light lunch. That way, like, your stomach is still, like, ready, but it doesn't have a lot going on in there. Because if you do light breakfast, no lunch, you might get a little bit of, like, the stomach shrinking, where you might not get as much, so. Okay, but hear me out. Yeah. Coffee. I'm gonna just drink coffee the entire time. That's fair. It's kind of it's kind of food. That's it's it, it's not, but it's kind of food. It's not, but it's kind of food. That's fair. That's fair. <gasps> Ever how dare you? First of all, how dare you deny and ignore any of the reverses Reverse. that I play? Okay. Reverse. And second, you're on vacation, young lady. I hope you have a wonderful vacation. Ever's doing vacationing stuff. I'm going to do some of that here coming up and for the Bean's birthday. That's why this is the last evening stream this week. Yeah? My uh, my boss is on vacation right now. See, this is funny because my boss isn't you. That's true. Your boss finally. is... Yeah. Actually, I was, I was supposed to see your boss on Sunday, and then it just didn't work out. And we were both, we were both sad about it, but it's okay. Yeah, and he asked me how work was going today, and I gave him as little details as possible. Yeah, because he's on vacation; he doesn't need to concern himself with it. Yeah, he needs he's he he'll learn that. Guatemala, that sounds nice. Ever, I like your little area where you're staying. That's really pretty. It's really really pretty. I like that. Um, so here's 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 the the meat and potatoes of this thing. This is the three. I'm calling this countdown three it doesn't look any different than what was 2.1, but this is 3.0 to me because it's completely rebuilt. It's a brand new, it's a brand new Zunderstream countdown platform. Um, this import here is from Typekit, which is Adobe fonts now, um, but that lets me use my uh, Babis New Pro, which is, Babis. which is like, if you look, 
if you look here, that's the font that I use for basically everything yeah, here yeah. and up there. It's just, it's kind of Julie's baby back font. Anyway, um, I also have this, uh, this custom variable here that we used for the actual countdown itself to track the, uh, the rotating majig for the timer. So if I come in here and let's go. Let's uh... Oh wait, I want this one. There we go. Okay. So, uh, the font that you see there, that's, that's where that comes from. Um, uh, and then the, that variable is what makes the, the circle do its magical tracking thing. Dommy, don't you dare. Don't you dare. You stop that. Dommy, I love you. Um, so anyway, that's that. Um, no, Dommy's right. You stop that. You stop that too. Um, no. I have had this like take all the margin and padding off things because I want it to be everything to be extremely specific. Like you can see here, I've got this thing in like 4K. So it's because my the stream here it transmits in 1080p because that's Twitch's maximum. But everything that I do in OBS, I do in 4K. Um, just in case I want to record or whatever in 4K, it's all in 4K. Um, I don't know, Domi, not a whole lot. Just, uh, you know, stuff and things. Uh, got back from TwitchCon, TwitchCon was amazing, loved it, and uh, really hoping to go again next year. Um, that kind of stuff. Also gonna have pizza soon, because the pizza just arrived. Hey, the pizza arrived. Thank you. Pizza, pizza. Oh, thanks. Oh, they didn't cut it in squares. Oh, oh well. That's fair. Love you. Thank you. I got a, uh, okay. It's... So I got, I got an everything pizza from this place, which everything is certainly not everything. It's pepperoni, mushrooms, sausage, onions, and peppers. And then I had them put buffalo chicken on top of it. So loving that. Yeah, looking forward to that. So pardon me while I eat a little bit because I have not had dinner yet. Okay. Perfect. All right. Sorry about that. Um, there yeah. you go. I mean, just a smidge, a skosh. Um, so yeah, I got this set up as in uh, 4K. The background here is black, but in OBS it will take the body, like it overrides the body background for any browser source to be transparent by default, but that's okay. Helsey, Helsey did Twitch be Twitchy Twitchins again. Yeah, I, Twitch has been extra, um, funky this week it's being not uh yeah it's just being weird 
Yeah. No, this all week, all week Twitch has just been not doing great. Twitchy? Yeah, pretty much. No. Uh, nothing went off. Oh, buddy, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I might have taken all of your good luck. I'm sorry. I'm doing the, uh, I'm doing all of the, my stream stream stuff. But my new countdown worked, which was nice. Well, Hiltzy, thank you for the attempted raid. Uh, here, I can do this real Everyone, quick. Everyone, please control yourselves. This is a mature party. And no! I'm not following Dom. Oh, I'm now following Dommy. Okay, so what's really funny about that? Um, nice, Dom. What's really funny is I think that they are working to disable offline raids. I think that's something that they are actively working on. Because Tug was having Tugboat was having issues the other day, and uh, I think it was yesterday <clears throat> he was having issues with his like being able to connect to Twitch, like send his uh, his video data in, like his what they call the video ingest, where you OBS or whatever sends the video and audio to Twitch. Um, so he was having issues. We were all still in chat, so he tried to raid out, and when he first tried to do it. It wouldn't work and said the channel must be online for you to raise. It was really weird. So, I don't know. I don't know. Which is uh, doing twitchy majigs. But, well, let's see, I appreciate you attempting to raid, buddy. Um, sorry, it, you know, I'm sorry it didn't go so well. But um, hashtag blame Twitch. Oh, well, go make some leftovers. I'm I'm eating my dinner too because mine just arrived. So Oh, good luck, Dommy. Um, so, because OBS makes page backgrounds transparent by default, there's there we go. That works good. Um, I also set up the center part, the big black ribbon in the middle, to actually be there and be basically. I guess I could just do, it's fine. It's not that big of a deal. I have to have that there so that the counter doesn't, like the, the text from the, the bars doesn't show up and it's, it's just this whole layering shit that I did, but it works. It fucking works and that's all that matters. And I'm very happy that it does. Um, then I got the bars that are on top and bottom do i have i guess i could just yeah i could do this then i have the bars that are on top and bottom um if it works it works it does that's right Um, so yeah, this whole area here, this black area here is an actual like opaque box so that it doesn't like the background doesn't get, um, transparent if I out. Um, and then I have the browser throttles JavaScript and some of the animation stuff. So I have to click in every few seconds when I'm doing testing in the browser for it to work, but in OBS, it doesn't do any of that throttling like. The browser's allowed to run full full speed, which is what it's supposed to do. Um, but that's just a CSS animation, the clock face there. And then the numbers, um, they're CSS animations, but it's timed using JavaScript. Um, this is timed using JavaScript. So that's pretty cool. Um, and what's nice is this is dynamic. So if I wanna go in and change the messages that I have showing, like this is the actual 
that's the actual HTML. It's just this part here. That's it. Because it's really not a whole lot of content. It's the bars on top and bottom, the countdown with the circle and the numbers, then the soon TM. That's it. That's the whole thing. The rest is just styles and scripting. So I set this up and then like this starts after six seconds because like it takes two seconds for the clock to fade in. It takes two seconds for the or it takes two seconds to the, the circle fades in two more seconds. The numbers fade in and then two seconds after that, the countdown actually starts. And that's when I have everything timed. So that's when I start this, both of these loops for both the countdown itself and then the message loop at the bottom of the screen. Um, and then for the message, it's pretty easy. I basically go through, I have this message list here with some stuff that's in blue text if it's, you know, like links. Um, I'm considering doing some images in there. I wonder what I could make that look like. I could probably make that work. Yeah. I want to look at images too and see how that goes. Um, I wonder what the spacing is here. Because this bar is, each of these bars are 320 tall. Which means that'll be roughly about... That's about 160. The height. So I could probably do half and... Yeah, I could probably half and half that. But I wanted the animation to have like a, like I didn't want to just zoop. I want it, I want it to kind of ease, which is nice because that's kind of how the news bar works. The news bar over here does a kind of easing animation. So I wanted to, I wanted to do that too. It's it's just it's just nice. Yeah. Yeah, everything kind of fits together. Like it it's cohesive and it works and I like it. It's just nice. So Um the other thing with the message list is I have it set up to where the first message like the stream about to begin cuz this is the way it was set up in the video originally. The, the old countdown. The first message shows for 30 seconds and then everything after it shows for 15, which ends up working out to the whole thing is one and a quarter minutes long, which means that after, oh, did I not turn that off? I thought I did. Beep boop. Beep boop. Boop beep. I thought that was my Discord for a second. Oh, it's just, it's, it's just Bobo posting pictures of Cracko dressed up like uh, Michael Myers from Halloween. It's fine. <laughs> we also looked at your Discord. Oh, it was it was actually it was my Discord. It was Bobo in selfies and stuff. That's where we get all of our selfies and most of our stuff. Um, yeah, so the message loop is pretty simple. Just every 15 or 30 seconds it like sets the CSS classes for them to roll in rotates the messages like in between like just after the animations complete and then takes off the classes so it take there's two messages there's like the one that you see and there's one out of frame that you don't see so those move up together and then after like another half a second they just go back but you don't see that because the there's no animation there. It just it just goes. So it's it's seamless, which is nice. 
Then there's the counter. The counter is a little more complicated because I only want the ones that change to move. So I take the current time, the total time, and then current time. I guess total time. I, total time could be a const. Do I use it anywhere else? No, I don't. There we go. That's fine. Wait up until you try to use it anywhere else. Well, I don't. I won't need. Total time is fine because I only need it on load. I don't change total time. I only change current time. Um, so current time will come in here and every second it goes through and it updates the timer text and it does some checks. And so it's like, Hey, if you know, it subtracts one second from it. Um, if it is like, if the current time is now less than zero, we kill the timer. Like it's done. Um, cause we know we don't count, we don't continue counting backwards from zero. Zero is the bottom of the countdown. Then we get what the current minute is. We get how many seconds there are, uh, left over in that minute. And then we kind of parse that out to their individual digits, like, you know, tens and ones. Then we go get all the different parts of the, the page that store all that. So we have one that's currently to be displayed and then the one that's above it because they roll down, which is the next one. And then we set the next one to whatever it's going to be. And if the one has changed, if, if like a, a number has changed, then we do the animation. If it hasn't, we don't need to. So it only rolls when the numbers change. Otherwise the whole thing would be rolling every second, which is what it was doing when I initially started just to test it to make sure, and of course I don't want that. I want it to just roll the uh, the numbers themselves that change. So that's all done. Then I come down here, and again, after the animation's done, I set the, the last value to what the current one is, so the next time it does the check, and comes up here and does it, it's all squared away. And there we go. So not terribly complicated. Really, really fun though. I really like this. There's the soon TM, which is there and nice. Now what's really cool is I started adding some stuff in here. So what I can do is, um, eventually what I would like to do is do things where I can add additional content in here where I, if, if I would like to, and even like, change it between streams. So I added a thing where if I want to move the, the, like the, the countdown timer over, um, I can, where's the, yeah, there we go. So if I want to go and move something, move it over to the left, for instance, I can. And then when I'm done, I can just remove the CSS class from it and it goes back because there's a transition in place to where whenever it does a transform, it, uh, it eases that transform. Uh, I can also do it to the right because I have one defined for the right as well. And move it back. So that's the stuff that I kind of, this is the kind of stuff that I wanted to do with this is be able to like move the timer back and forth dynamically and be able to change stuff. Um, like whenever I really see fit. Um, so yeah, I'm going to eat more pizza.
Ah, there we go. Okay. So yeah, I'm proud of this. I'm like, I love that I'm, that I basically like redid it from scratch. I mean, I did redo it from scratch, but visually it's identical to the old countdown um, with like minor things about the font because the browser looks different than the way it renders in After Effects. But also I like the new like, like the background circle. Like, I like that, that's fun. And then again, I can do stuff like this so that I can move it back and forth as I see fit. Eventually what I would like to do, and I don't know like how I don't know how complex I want to get with it, but I would like to have like a little thing running in the background where if things happen in the bot, I can ping the bot and say, Hey, what's going on? And then the uh, countdown screen will react to it in near real time. So like certain alerts or like if I set certain settings and shit like that, it would trigger like the, the motion or whatever automatically. And I could just, you know, do whatever I want. Cause I have right now, I still have my stream admin that I have here that's built into the bot. I might honestly redo some of this too. Like this is nice, but I might, uh, I might redo some of this just to make it a little more. I don't know, organized. Because right now it's just a bunch of stuff that's just cluttered under headings. But I wonder if I can make a, uh, a list out of that. Maybe that's what I'll do tonight. Do I have that open anywhere? No. Okay, let's let's just open it here. Um, let's open the admin project. Did that open a second instance or just the same one? Okay, same one, perfect. I also want the page still open in the background, so let's just keep that down there. So this page here, this is my stream admin. And let me, let me dock it with this just so they're together. <clears throat> so this is all the, this is a lot of the magic behind the scenes for my stream that lets me do a lot of shit. This is like my, my on demand stuff. Firebot has a bunch of automation that I do. Um, but this is the stuff that lets me do things. Like if I want to go and edit my stream info, I can. I have a button just to pop that out, like just a bunch of easy stuff at my fingertips. My reward queue, like if I want to pop out chat, I can do that here. Um, if I want to open the viewer card for somebody like, like some, you know, random chuckle fuck that I know who basically just types rips and GGs in my chat almost exclusively. And appropriately, oh hey, that was me. I have I have died one time so far in software game development, which honestly, if it's only once, I'm shocked. Uh oh also Krakow failed a stink test earlier. That was that was on oh, Sunday. He's it's cause he's stinky, you see. Um but like I can pop open viewer cards if I just wanna like you know, check on stuff, especially if I'm concerned about, we might have um, someone in the stream that, you know, like a bot account or something. Um, if I want to change my lower third down there at the bottom, I click, I click save, OBS pulls the latest, and boom, there it is. The news bar, this is where all the magic happens for the news bar as far as like 
the stuff that's there. Um, oh, I need to set that to not... Let's go back. I need to do that as well. Now, what's fun about this is I have to, anytime I update that page, I have to go in here. Let's go build dev. And then I have to go, once that's done, I go in Firebot and go to my scripts, and I have to reload it from there. Okay. Now if I reset, refresh, why are you not... Did it not? There it goes. Oh, I have to do the scrolly scrolls. Okay. We'll set that up in a second. <clears throat> so I might work on this tonight. Um, and... And then I can go overflow y auto. I think that's overflow y. Um, let's see what the over. Near the left, right edges of the content. Oh, right. No, that makes... Yeah. Yep. No, I'm, I had it backwards. Of course I did. Okay. Overflow X is auto. That's good. Um, so, now... Let's do build dev again. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Beautiful. We'll go on the bot and refresh the script. And if I refresh the page now, there we go. Okay, that's what I wanted. That's what I wanted. Yeah, this is a this is a uh, a text area, so I can actually enter text here. So it scrolls for me. This is just a div. So it does not scroll automatically. Its overflow is just, by default, it does line breaks. So there we go, that's better. I'm now trying to think of ways that I can hook into the variable engine to have the preview actually come back with data. That sounds like a terrible idea. And you know I love a terrible idea. Do it. You fucking won't. The problem is I don't know if I can do that on the fly. I don't know if that's something that I can do on in Firebot on the fly. I don't know if I can evaluate a variable. I don't know if that's like functionality that we have built in or if I'm gonna have to build additional shit in Firebot to do that. And that is not a rabbit hole I wanna go down tonight. Let's go here and see Why something. Not? Cause that's, Honestly, I have way too much outstanding code in Firebot right now 
that's that I still have to finish. I don't want to add additional shit into it right now, you know what I mean? I already have too much shit going on. Uh, let's see. Let's you pick. Where's the news? What happens when I save it? Update you pick list. Update news bar. In the news bar when I post it. I just get a 201. Oh, 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 there it is. That's okay. I get it there. Um, <sighs> let's see. What modules do I get out of this? one with your face hope this helps thanks chip mm. what are you eating water oh well that's not nearly as fun what do we have in here that's the utility stuff uh that's custom variables Wait, replace variables manager dot. No, that's not it either. Hmm. The hell's get up time? Oh. We actually have a thing to tell us how long the stream's been running in plugins. I didn't even know. Today I learned. Let's see. I'm looking in the Firebot source real quick to see if there's a... A way for me to do Is that available anywhere? The effect runner has its own version of it. The replace variable manager has one. But okay, so we don't expose that to scripts. Uh I mm, Okay. So that might be a that might be a future me problem. What is what's that? Oh, that's where I updated that. Okay. Perfect. And come back here. So what I would like to do with this is everywhere where I have like one of these headers is to replace it with like like a menu system is what I would like.
Yeah. So I'd have to do something like div ID equals Twitch admin. Have that over. So that this, I would, yeah, okay. The problem with doing this is this depends on the bot because this page is actually served from Firebot. So there's sh magical shit behind the scenes at work here. Your shit is magical. I don't know how to say I'll magical your shit without it sounding weird. <laughs> also, uh, not not to end a good thing early, but uh, apparently Spectrum just lets you, if you have your own equipment, they just let you fucking activate it. Uh -huh. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to be taking myself offline here shortly in order to give that the old college try. Well, good luck. We're all counting on you. <laughs> Don't put it that way. That's pressure. Well, wait a minute. Don't they have to still come out and swap the, the thingamabobbers around? Uh, apparently not. That's... That seems suspicious. And as I learned from both uh, John Ralphio and Mona Lisa Saperstein, don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Let's see. So. Let's see what we can do here for CSS drop down menus. Nope. Okay. And steal it. <gasps> Are they checkboxes? Is what are you what's what are you stealing? Oh, I see. Mm hmm. Let's come back here and look. Hmm. Okay, okay, this is good. I might have to put this, I might have to do this in fucking JavaScript, huh? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Your favorite. Listen, I already have a bunch of JavaScript in here, all right? And things for like, like my command IDs for stuff and my, like, just a bunch of other shit. It's, I mean, it's all JavaScript powered. JavaScript does all of it. So, it's fine. I'm not worried about it, and you shouldn't be worried about it. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Alright, so... Put that in there. Since I have the dev tools here, I can just pop this open and all right, 
let's. We're going to do a couple of things here. We're going to, yeah. Let's go ahead and put in the divs for what I want. Um, ID equals stream schedule. <gasps> K, hi K. I met K. K is a wonderful, wonderful bean, and you should follow them. Let me, where's my, let me do my shouty, my shouty yaddy majig. Uh, K, I met at the, um, uh, the trans, uh, community and ally meetup. And so K and I hung out for a little bit, and they are absolutely wonderful. Um, you should go follow them. You all know how much my trans and non binary friends mean to me. Um, you know, between friends like Nova, um, and then we've got our friend, like our friend, uh, Fear My Paintbrush, who, again, um, love, love, love our, our, our magical NB friends. Um, so yeah, Kay, it's nice to see you. I hope you're doing all right. All right, let's see, stream schedule. Perfect, this is your card. Let's see, put that there. This is the lower third. Lower third. Okay. This is going to be the news bar section. So we'll come and do that. Oh, I have to tell you. So earlier we're sitting downstairs and me and Bean are just hanging out. We're waiting for, uh, for dinner to show up and stuff. And let me tell you about the sleepiest kitten's cat. She like, we finally call her. She comes back downstairs. And she has just, she's the sleepiest kitten scat in the whole world. <laughs> she's just a baby. She's like sitting on the floor between like the two recliner seats of the love seat. And she's just looking up at us and just her eyes keep closing and she's, and then she does the big yawn and oh, she's so sneaky. So sneaky. Great, gonna hang with community and watch scary movies tonight. Ooh, it is the perfect night to watch a scary movie. It's true. It's true. All right, it's time for me to go ruin my internet. Godspeed. <laughs> Hopefully, see you later. Bye. Okay, bye. And Lollipop was never to be seen again. His internet ate him. That's what happened. I'm gonna eat some more pizza. Oh, that's a little bite. That'll do me for now. This is absolutely my fault for ordering pizza on Halloween, though. But at least... At least I knew... <clears throat> had the good sense to order it two hours before stream. Oh, let's see. Ah... <clears throat> uh. If you are just joining us, I am working on <clears throat> what I like to call the Zunderstream admin. So, um, my the bot that I use, uh, and disclaimer, I'm part of the dev team for, is a bot called Firebot. And Firebot has um, a plugin system that you can build your own cl custom plugins for. So I built one that has like a bunch of just tools that I can use for controlling specific things of my stream. Um, so like my lower third that you can see over here um, and then the news bar just above that in the white to show off all the, the neat stuff. And look, as soon as I start explaining it, here comes CKY, one of our Firebot experts. Hi, pal. How you doing? Um, but I built this page that has a bunch of controls that tie back into either internal parts of Firebot or 
commands that I have set up and things like that um, to um, to control parts of my stream. So like, if I want to, I can turn the lights off. We're just off altogether. Um, and then I got controls for OBS and stuff like that. Um, so you know nothing? No, you no. Don't give me don't give me that bullshit. Don't you give me that bullshit? Um. So yeah, so I'm working on refining this a little bit because it's 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 got a lot of great tools that I use very frequently. Um, but I want to clean it up a little bit because right now it's just one big scrolly page. And, um, I want to add like a nice little menu so that I can do, uh, do a little bit more organized, especially on mobile. Cause that's where I mostly use this is on mobile. Um, so, you're an expert at tomfoolery, that's actually true. Yes, that's very true. Um, earlier I was showing that the countdown that I have at the beginning of my stream, like my starting soon, basically, um, I actually rebuilt as a web page, so it was a video. This is now a web page. Um, and so all the rendering is done in HTML and CSS. There's JavaScript in the background to do timings for things like that. And yeah, yeah, TKY. That's that's the that's the that's my mobile panel that I I use for all the stream admin stuff for all of my like clicky buttons and shit. Um, yeah. All right. So. What's this? What's going on there? Okay. So now what I'm trying to do is taking all of these things that are under different headers, which it's nice. It's just a lot of scrolling and just be able to have like a, a single menu that I can tap and go. So now I want... Um... I think it's a drop down. Oh, it's a select. See, I never fucking remember. It's been so long since I've actually done this. Uh, select. Yep, okay. ID equals menu section. We'll just leave that for now. Then I can do... We got an on change for this bad boy? Perfect. Okay. The theater thing that you fell down? No. You're a nerd, Mochi, with your nerd face and stuff. That's it. That's it. You know what, Mochi? Get shouted out, nerd. Yeah. Get wrecked or whatever. You don't even know. You don't even know. You don't know. But I just told you. So, whatever. Yeah, well, you're... Uh, excuse you, ma'am, but... Reverse! Reverse. Okay, so we can do an on change. Okay, all right, so on change. Was Now we're gonna come all, I wanna go all the way up at the top. All the way to the top. Nah. Yeah, we're gonna do function, switch, menu. We'll put that there and get ready. 
Uh, let's come down back down here. All right. Wait, no, it's not in, they're not inputs. Ice Bear needs it for everyday hustling. <gasps> Karen, Karen, 21 months, holy shit. Jesus Christ, that's a long time. Karen, I love you. I love you so much. Oh, right. That's... Okay. They're options with values. That's what they are. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is... I'm going to go and... Do just... This is what I'm going to do. This is, this is how I'm going to do it. And... Where's, I have a, I can do, I got a button for this too. Where's my, where's my Karen button? Aha, joke's on you, Karen. I have a button. Can't do shit about it. No, I can't collapse it because it doesn't know. Which had a stream schedule, viewer card. It's to compete with a button. Um, well, I guess get good or whatever, Mochi. Yeah. Listen, I have a button that I press, and then you get a button that you can press. You know, if you're not already following people. Because you should be following them. Because, like, why aren't you? But, like, why? And, like, do it. Alright, the news bar is next. I also have this, my, my admin page that I have here is also a doc in OBS, so I can do stuff in here if I want to also. Because, you know, I can cheat that way. Oh. Karen, I still just had so much fun with you at, uh, at TwitchCon. Oh, wait, that's not... That was just the best. Just the best. You have little bang things now, like little hairs on your, f like in front of your forehead and stuff. You get, Mochi, are you telling me that you got your hair did? Cause I love that for you. And I just called it you pick. Okay, that's fine. We'll just call it you pick. But not full bangs, I see. Con as a whole was really good. Um I I thoroughly enjoyed myself. Um I mean, I spent most of my time hanging out with people that I knew or meeting people, which is pretty par for the course for me. Um But I really, really enjoyed TwitchCon. Um, I got to meet a lot of new people. I got to see a lot of people that I just really wanted to see. It was just... It was exactly what I needed. Like, I've been... I was, I was in a bad way for a while now. And TwitchCon was exactly what I needed to help get out of that. Um... So I'm working on, uh, this is what I call Zunderstream Admin, and it's a page that served from within Firebot from a plugin that I built for Firebot uh, that gives me a lot of tools to edit my stream. So things like my lower third that you see over here and the news bar, um, you pick list when you pick was a thing, lights control, OBS control. Uh, I have a thing for if I want to skip my next scheduled stream, the bot like will take note of that and not attempt to run it. Um, if I want to turn my BRB scene on and off, some like specific Twitch things that I have. So it's just stuff like that. And the page is good and there's a lot of great stuff, but it's one big scrolly page. So what I'm doing is I'm building out a menu and then it'll, like a little drop down that'll live up at the top here that I can just doop doop and it'll, you know, pick the, uh, 
the section that I want. So I can just quickly tap and go instead of having to scroll all the way down. And you get donuts. Donuts! Mochi. Mochi, please tell me that you got donuts from Hot Pot. Please tell me you got donuts from Hot Pot because... Yes. Just best donuts. Oh. Yes! Yes, I love what we... Oh, I love Top Hot so much. It's so good. Okay, for those of you who don't know, Top Hot Donuts, it's, it's a coffee and donut shop chain in Seattle area. And, like, Top Pot is just, like, choice. In fact, the last time, uh, the last time Bean and I were in Seattle, actually the only time Bean and I were in Seattle together, but, uh, we went and we stayed at the Inn at the Market, which is the hotel that's right next to, uh, Pike Place Market in Seattle, where they throw the fish and all that shit. Um, but I was like, Bean, Top Pot is, like, the, the place for donuts in this in this city like it's absolutely spectacular so we have to get some and so we did and i'm like listen we're getting a dozen just assorted i'm gonna go give the folks down at the desk their pick so they can have you know they can have one too because the, the people that work at that hotel just the best fantastic people um but yeah i made friends for life by giving by sharing my donuts from Top Pot with the folks at the, the thing. <gasps> You're getting a voodoo? Holy shit. Y'all are moving up in the world up there in the, the PNW. Sorry, I'm going to eat some more pizza. Okay. All right. Sorry, I know I keep I know I keep going out of frame to go eat, but dinner arrived late. And it's okay. It's okay, we make it work. Um Now, let's go up here. We have this guy. Because I'm super lazy and we're going to do this. This is exactly what I want, yep. Oh, that's exactly what I want, yep. Okay. So, let... Document dot get element by ID. I want this to be what's the idea of this? Is this menu menu drop down is what I called it? God, it's so far. Menu menu drop down. I don't like menu section already. I heard a, I thought I heard a jingle jangle. Of a kitten's cat. Carsis, how you doing, buddy? <laughs> yeah, I'm working on the uh, I'm working on some some stream stuff. It's very meta because I'm on stream, but I'm working on stuff for stream. Steak and chicken nachos, and I guess eating well. I mean, if you mochi, if you have donuts, but you don't eat donuts, really. You're disrespecting both the donuts and yourself. So you have to eat the donuts. Otherwise, what are you doing with your life? Um, okay. So. Hmm. 
I'm just sending us cookies today for Dan's surgery recovery. Oh, nice. That's really nice. Hi, it's me, Stan. And also scroll through a mile of code because you know what you're looking for and roughly where it is. It's that's the thing though, right, Tom? Like when you look at some shit and you've looked at it long enough, it's basically in your brain. It's like, I know this is roughly here, right? It's like looking in the junk drawer for stuff. It's like, I know it's in here somewhere and I have a rough idea of where it is. So I'll just like look in this one little corner of the junk drawer. Cause I know it's somewhere nearby. I'll find it. I'll get there. Eventually it's in the neighborhood. Dom, did you do the, uh, did you do the Vroom Vroom cars tonight? <sighs> raspberry jelly powder. Oh, raspberry. No, 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 no. Oh, I can just do value. Perfect, okay. And what I'll do is I will say, hmm, hmm. I'm gonna practice for it and someone's, I'm sorry. Children's and Bush, oh, buddy, I'm sorry, that's, I know that's that's the no bueno. That's the no fun times. All right, let's go. How do I want to do this? All elements by class. There's literally get elements by class name. Perfect. Okay, so then we're going to come in here. And for each one of these, we're going to call this a equals menu section. That I like better. That's the menu drop down. I'm at least more prepared to fix it this time. That's good. That's good. Ooh, I should fix that. Beautiful. All right, now here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna come in here and we're gonna say, uh, let's see, I could do, cause for each is weird in JavaScript. For each is just, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. For each is like it's... Uh, you know about the stretches and the whatnot from physical therapy that's... Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. That's... That sucks. Oh, document dot get elements by class. Is it class name or just class? It is get elements by class name. We're gonna call this menu section. Ends dot for each. We'll go section. Uh, 
not. I think I can set visibility directly, right? Style visibility, perfect, okay. We'll do that as collapse. For each potato, give to Tom. Perfect. Can do. I will, uh, I will be sure to mail you all of the potatoes from vacation. Except for the ones that I eat. And also that Bean eats. And also the ones that I don't come in contact with. And also any ones where the postage is too expensive. But other than that, I will, I will, I will send you all the potatoes from vacation. Pota, potation. That's that's it. That's it. Let's come back up here. But those are all. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right now, we will go. Maxi menu section visibility collapse. It is collapse and not collapsed, right? Yeah, it is collapse. Okay, that's what I thought. All terms subject to change without notice. Camp name was potato. Oh my god, that's Mochi. That honestly tracks for you though. Like I could see it. I could see that. And then we will get. We get by ID, which is current menu option. Dot style dot ability equals visible. Yes. Yes. Perfect. So here's what happens. They all sh they're all hidden by default. When we select one in the drop down, it will fire this off. We'll get the drop down menu element. We'll grab the value from it. We'll go through, get all the ones that have this in here, set the visibility to collapse, which they all have visibility collapse by default. Actually, can I? Can I do that? Is that works? And that might work. Cuz I think it'll No, you know what? We're just we're we're going to go with that. We're going to go with that just to be safe. And then this will get the name of that one cuz they're all named the same. And then we set the visibility to visible. Okay. Let's see how badly this turned out, considering I have no syntax highlighting or anything here. And potatoes are amazing. I fucking love potatoes. Potato for dinner covered with cheese and gravy. Oh, Kars is yes. Just another reason why you're diabetic. It, listen, I'm I'm probably not far behind you as I you know slurp down my sweet tea. Um. Okay. That's that. Let's go and reload the page. Okay, okay. All right, so it is not working, which is perfect. And new section up for each. Why the hell not? All right, let's go. Let's go to my fucking script. Where's my script? Okay.
Menu drop down. All right. What's my value on here? Is my value right? And value is stream schedule. Okay. All right. All right. Next. Menu sections. Oh my god, they're listed by fucking name. Oh, it's an HTML collection. Oh, what can I do on this? How the fuck do I use this? I don't know how to fucking use this. Yeah, no, my script told me fucking told me no. It told me to go fuck myself. Maybe I could offer it a potato and see what happens. Oh, the music stopped. We're, oh, we're done with the music. I gotta do more music. Uh, ooh. Piano lullabies from Pokemon. Maybe. No, that's too sleepy. Um, I like this. How do I iterate over them? Do I have to do it? I have to do it by... Yep, okay, so I can't do a four each. That's fine. All right, we'll... We'll do it the shitty way. That, X. All right, x is zero. Da, 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 da. So we'll go. Oh yeah, this is this is a fucking this is a bop right here. I can deal with this. You know, Moshi, I don't think I've ever had purple potatoes. I don't think I've ever had them. All right, that'll work. No, let's get rid of that. Uh, okay. Oh, I have to go refresh it in the... There we go. Refresh in the bottom. They're the best for diabetics. Oh, that's that's good to know. All right, refresh. Don't care. Okay. Let's, let's get rid of the breakpoint and just go. All right, you don't like this either, do you? What? What do you mean collapse is not defined? Oh, do I have to do like visibility collapse? Ah. Oh, I have to put it in quotes because I'm a dingus. I'm a dingus and didn't actually put it in fucking quotes. Yeah, have I tried defining collapse? No, I have not. It would help if the value was actually a value in fucking quotes. Uh, ooh, I might also just for funsies. Um, this one I might actually set to. because this is like the initial one. And that's already selected. If I can type, there we go. That works. Oh. Yeah, that's fine. All right, now. Oh, 
Oh, that's nice. Sorry, Vod, folks. This one's on the music track. We are getting there. We are getting there. But I gotta figure out why are, it's not collapsing them. <sighs> what are the visibility states? I thought collapse was supposed to remove whatever. Oh. Oh. The element is hidden, but still takes up space. What? <sighs> it renders. Oh, that's what happens. This is a mature party. And no. Louis. Is the music track not playing? Why is the music track not Esper playing? Needs it for everyday hustling. Oh, it reset. There we go. There we go. Thanks, voice meter. You're a real pal. Let me save this real quick. This is that one. Yeah, okay. There we go. Oh, thanks, CKY. Uh, Louie, buddy, thank you for both the raid and for 27 months. Holy shit, pal. That's, it's, it's, it's been a while. Lolly is off uh, attempting to switch his internet over, so... We probably won't see him again because it's probably broken. He probably broke things. Um, there we go. That's way better. The music now. Now that actually, now that y'all actually have the music too. I'm sorry, I didn't realize you didn't have music. All right, that's that works. Uh I have an idea. All right, here's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna have a menu section and then a height of zero and then menu section visible with a of uh, visible. And I guess hidden is fine here then height is going to be auto. Then what we'll do is we'll come down here. And we'll go classless.add. Visible. No, wait. We'll remove it there. I'm sorry, I'm going to fix it. And sell towers all over New York City. Hey, you know what, man? Whatever you got to do to get the job done. That's what a friendly neighborhood Spider-Man does, right? Okay. This. Let's try this and see if this works. Ah. <sighs> But for those coming in from the Louis raid, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Zunderscore. I'm a variety streamer, and I'm doing actually Cody stuff tonight. I have been the last couple streams, which is unusual. Uh, I haven't done a whole lot of that on stream lately. I'll have to make nachos. Oh, Mochi, happy Halloween, and uh, send me some of the nachos, please. Okay, thanks. And friendly civilians, throw a few people off of buildings. Okay, but Louie, were they starting shit? Were they doing shit they had no business doing? If so, that's on them. 
They know the consequences. All right, let's go back and refresh the old script of do. There we go. There goons. Oh, well, there you go. Hmm. It's not working either. <sighs> Let's look at for where's the display property. What all do we have? Let the element behave like a TR element. So let's try that. God, I I can't type worth a shit tonight. It's because my pizza showed up late. Oh wait, I have to go. Uh, so they have the, they have an everything pizza that comes with pepperoni, sausage, mushrooms, onions, and peppers. It is certainly not everything that they offer, but I also added buffalo chicken to it because buffalo chicken. Actually, I'm going to take a bite now. Honestly, CK White, I forgot to ask for olives. Otherwise, I would absolutely have gotten olives on this. I fucking love olives on pizza. Green olives are fine, but black olives are preferred. Never had an olive before? Mm. Louie, have you ever had capers? Um, like, uh, shit, what's the Italian dish with the, uh, like the pounded out chicken cutlet, um, cooked in like the lemon sauce with the capers, um, chicken piccata, chicken piccata is, is, has capers in it. The point is olives are typically like. They're very briny, so they have, they're very salty. Um, that's mostly it. It's a mostly a salty flavor, which, you know. Salty, briny, that kind of thing. Um, no, it, they're not, they're not pickled, pickled. Because they're not in vinegar, typically. Um, so they don't have, like, the bite of the vinegar, of a pickled onion. Um, they're just really just salty. That's the best way I can describe them. All right.
Oh, I forgot. I I fucked that up. Yeah. Uh, try olives, Louis. Try them. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Give it a shot. See, I mean, it shouldn't bother you. You'll just get, like, you'll probably just get, like, a maybe a little bit, depending on how much you eat, you might get a little pucker. I'm just going to take that out. Fuck that. Uh, you might get, like, a little bit of, a tiny bit of pucker from just, like, the saltiness of it, but... Yeah, like I'm again, black olives are my preference. Green are gonna green are gonna end up being a little more they're gonna have a little more of that that saltiness to them typically. But yeah. Alright. Man, they're starting up scripts. Dupe. All right, this isn't bad. This is a lot closer. But it's got the... The problem is it has... It's the margin, isn't it? Maybe I'll have to change the... Uh... Well, I mean, Louie, if you can't taste it, like, you know... You're not going to have a reaction to it, right? For a lot of that kind of stuff. Hmm. Oh, God, I bet. Hey, how happy are you not to be at the old fucking job anymore, pal? Yeah. 
Actually, see, yeah, I bet. I fucking bet. Not stop them from calling you. Uh, have you told them to what's the go fuck themselves because they don't pay you anymore? They'll get the hint eventually. I just... Ham, bell pepper, onion, olive, pepperoni, green chili, garlic, clove, buffalo, chicken. Ooh, that sounds like a good mix. I like that. How can I collapse a fucking div? Oh, right, I have to, okay, let's try. Let's see what happens with this. Does that work? Oh, yeah, there we go, okay. So now we'll go... Overflow hidden and then overflow auto. Now we'll rebuild this. You're a foodie man. I, listen, man, you know me. You know I love to fucking eat. Okay. Mm, too much weight again. Drunk. Food on your break. Yeah, that's... I can understand that, Louie. Oh, beautiful. Mm, 100... Did didn't work. Did, did, that didn't work? Not even a little. Yeah, I was afraid that was going to happen. Yeah, I I figured, but um, I I, I was kind of hoping they had new. I don't have to talk to people technology. Imagine that. But like our previous or our current still isp i guess mm -hmm. had to come out and fuck with the line in order to get their internet service working and i figured that spectrum would have to come out and undo whatever they did yeah i'm sure they do well welcome back oh that's the countdown one i don't want the countdown one i want there we go oh well hello louis Ooh, we are we are listening to some Zeldor music. I see. We I are. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. I don't like that. That's doing that. Let's see what the. Bork, 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 Don't back sass me. Bork, bork, bork. Oh, he's gonna. Bork. Let me try it on my phone and see what it looks like. 
Because my phone is really what bark, I'm bark. more concerned about here. Bark. Bark, bark. You know browsers have a uh, a thing for that. Well, yeah, but it's, as you can see, it's not exactly looking the way I expect it to. Bork, bork. Oh, yeah, don't you have one of them full jig phones? I do have a full jig phone. That's going to have custom resolution and everything. Oh. I mean, it works. Oops. It looks great. If I come here and... So, so you know, uh some of the drama we've been having at work right oh well, yeah like everything wanting to go to flutter uh -huh. and, and well um we we made a little discovery oh boy about view and flutter you can just straight fucking render view components in flutter you can stick view basically anywhere and it doesn't give a fuck yeah, and you can stick basically whatever you want in view. It's like, the more I look into it, it's pretty damn good. Mm -hmm. Oh, Louis, I am firmly back on my bullshit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he is, uh, he, is playing, he is playing his favorite um, critically acclaimed MMORPG from Square Enix. Um, also, hello, Miss Ellie. I am uh I am poor but I have submarines. That's true, yes. Well, this works. And by poor, I mean I'm I might be back up to like 2 million gil already. Yeah, of course. Of course you are. I'm not even No one was ever surprised. Okay, so then I'll take this back off of here. Well, my uh the page works the way I want it to. So now I don't have to scroll through things. I can just boop boop and then I have every have what I want. Let's look at a viewer card again. Let's make sure. Uh Hey, I know that guy. What if you uh give yourself the option to uh to view all in that drop down. So if you do want the experience of doing scroll imagings, you you can grant yourself that scrolly bliss. <sighs> Why are you like this? What? Why are you like this? I'm just thinking about the user experience. I'm the user. Right. And I care about your experience no. on this thing that I literally am never going to use because I don't have access to it. Get out. But unless you want to give me access to it and you're going to put something in there that lets me trigger your BRB screen. I'm not going to let you trigger the BRB screen. I'm never giving you chuckle fucks that kind of power. There's no fucking way. Listen. You're I a thing, CKY. But I want nothing but to use that for responsible deeds. Uh, uh, all right, let's go. Do, 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 do. You don't even know this song. You've never even played this game. Not even once. Mm -mm. It's not even your favorite. Yeah, yeah, Louie, what, uh, what you got there, pal? Hit me. Uh Beard. When you find yourself randomly running your hands through it like this, just like 
Just like pondering my beard. Yes, absolutely. All the fucking time. Just. Yeah. Yeah, I ponder the beard constantly. Especially when I'm thinking about stuff. Huh? You don't even have a beard. Like, have you have you tried growing a beard? <laughs> oh, so it's like taro. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, congrats. Oh. We're now now only three of us get what this conversation. <laughs> yeah, so there's a there's a guy on TikTok who has this series of things that you can say to piss off men and it's hilarious. They're great. And so the last batch of them that I saw uh, I sent to Viv and Lolly. So the first one on the list is, have you tried growing a beard? Say this to a guy who has a beard. The last one on the list is... (laughs) (laughs) Viv, I was... Viv! We were just talking shit. Viv, I was... We were just talking about you. So, the last item on the list is, oh, so it's like tarot. Say this to someone who plays Magic the Gathering, like Viv, or Yu-Gi-Oh, like Lolly. (laughs) Uh, uh. Oh, yeah, Louie, yeah. the Like, pondering the beard? Yeah. All day long, pal. All day. Viv, thank you for 31 months, buddy. I I honestly can't believe it's been almost three years. I cannot believe oh, it. Um, but I will just tell you because you are you are doing the streamy streams, but uh, he hurt himself at work again. Well, I'm assuming it was at work. I actually don't know. Actually, I don't know if that was at work. He just hurt himself again because, you know. <sighs> <clears throat> That's what he does. Vivian. We've been over this. We've been over this several times. Can you literally just fucking not? Just once. One time. Just once. Just not. Can you not injure yourself? What even is going on oh. here? Like, what if he? Oh, what if he? I'm sorry. He he didn't injure himself. It was Doo Doo Crumbs McAss cakes that hurt that hurt himself. <laughs> They're the same picture. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, fucking damn it, Viv. Oh. That's the good stuff. Why is this a fucking nine minute wait? Too long, she said she'll take care of it. Certain length. Oh, yeah, that's fair. That's fair, Louis. You had to move the pallet. It was stuck. You used a cloth strap to pull it free. Viv, it is a wonder that you were forklift certified and Krakow is not. Somehow. Somehow. Oh. Uh, it's because Krakow hasn't uh, passed his stink test yet. No, uh, well, that's. That explains it then. You haven't been forklift certified through this job. You've been forklift certified before, though. That's what counts. You could have used the forklift. I would have. That's, I mean, fair, but also, can you just, for once, not injure yourself, pal? I just That's so fucking weird queuing as a DP like queuing for alliance raids. It really is is weird. You're weird. Cuz like DPS get in almost instantly and it's very weird cuz like tanks take cuz there's only 3 tanks. 
out of the what 24 people yeah so it, it takes forever for them to get through <laughs> could you not immediately does yeah Listen, I'm very... Okay, everyone, I'm very much considering starting to play Final Fantasy XIV again. Um, just letting everybody know it's, it's something I'm considering. There, Lolly, are you happy? There's a view all, and now it shows the mall again. You're welcome. My, my welcome? I'm the one that's trying to get rid of the scrolly bajig. Right, but one of these days you're going to yearn for the scroll, and now you have it. Oh my God. It's not Mommy Mondays. We've been over this. You people can't handle Mommy Mondays. You can't handle it. Ooh, green chili stew. Ooh, I want to eat more pizza crust. But the Fall Guys collab is in. You can, you can play Fall Guys in 14. You can do what now? Yeah, the gold saucer has a uh, a Fall Guys map on it now. Okay, look. They used to be MMO Mondays. And that's when I would play Final Fantasy XIV. Because my schedule used to be... Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday nights. And I read, did the schedule a while back to Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday to scale back a little bit. But we used to do MMO Mondays where I would play Final Fantasy XIV every Monday. And if you've ever seen anything in Final Fantasy XIV, especially any, a couple of the NPCs, Merle Webb, um, you know there are a couple of that what people might describe as mommies in Final Fantasy fourteen. So the chuckle fucks were at one point talking about having mommy Mondays, and I'm like, absolutely the fuck not. You people can't handle that. So there's no way I'm doing that. No way whatsoever. Listen. And then he proceeded to do that. The sauce is coming back, Viv, okay? God damn it. Just just spoil everything. The sauce is coming back when... We, when yeah, okay, fair enough. You, you haven't stopped. Sauce is coming back when I get back from Bean Birthday stuff. Sauce is coming back, all right? There. Please. You, you can have your sauce. It's coming back. Please, please come no, back with a 20-ounce can. I'm not doing the 20-ounce can, you creep. You just want to watch, you just want to watch me eat. God. I want to watch you demolish a 20 ounce can is what I want. What is wrong with you? Several things. I mean, yeah, but like. I'm not the mommy enthusiast. It's a hobby. It's different. Crazens may come back. I got I got crazened out. That's that's what happened. But the crazen box is still here, and I still have plenty in here, and I still eat from the crazen box occasionally. And sometimes Bean uses them in her uh, her oatmeal because they're delicious in oatmeal. Okay, so that's good. Just once for the reboot. I'll. <sighs> Hold on a second. I'm doing research. Do, 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 
do 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 Hmm. Man, hearing this makes me want to play fucking Wind Waker. Fucking love Wind Waker. This also makes me want to play Wind Waker. You didn't even like that game. At first, I didn't. I'm doing this research for you. I want you to know. Me? Yes, you. What did I do? There's no longer... I, I can't find... I can't find the 20-ounce can. Oh, well, that's sad. Yeah. They have much bigger cans. There's a 117-ounce can, but that's not physically possible for me. <laughs> I would give you about $3.50. I bet you would. No, I did not check my butt, but I don't keep whole cans of cranberry sauce in my butt. That's where they come from when Allegedly. they've been processed. I don't. I don't I don't keep them there. I keep my cranberry sauce where any normal person keeps it on their desk. Oh, Bean sent me a loaf picture. Oh, heck. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy. Bean, is this appropriate for the, is this appropriate for the friends? Shall I, shall I show everyone the loaf? Okay. Would you all like to see the bean and the kitten's cat loaf? I think you would. It is you bean would. and the loaf. Look at the loaf. I mean, also look at the bean. But look at the loaf. That's the loaf. She's snuggling the bean. That's the kitten's cat. And her little snoot. That's her tiny pink cold wet nose. And her little cheeks and her little tufted ears. And her little paw. And it go boop 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 boop. We boop the snoop. Boop 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 boop. A boop 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 boop. We bloopin'. Boop bloop 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 bloop. That's a loaf. That's a loaf. That's a predator. She's not a predator. We're bloopin'. Bloop 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 bloop. Uh, anyway, that's a loaf and a bean. Look at the babies. And the kitten's cat. Oh, what a kitten's cat. That's my favorite kitten's cat in the world. She's just the best one. She hasn't grown much. It's just the camera angle. Also, hi, Fritz. How you doing, buddy? Do I give the scritches? Oh, she loves the scritches, especially like when I get her on like the side of the face or like on her neck. Oh, it's her favorite. Like she, it's immediate purrs and she almost like flops all the way over. She loves it. It's her favorite. So good. That's the kitten's cat for you. The kittenest of cats. Okay, so this is done. 
this thing is this thing works, which I'm just thrilled about. Love this for me. I wish there was a way that I could tell it not to throttle the, the JavaScript engine when I'm in dev mode. Like, I really wish there was a way to do that. But it just won't. It just... It's fine. All right, so that does that now, which I'm a lot happier about. I'm kind of considering rearranging stuff too, because like, what the hell is that? What is this? Oh, hey, look at that. It's got the thing. That must, is that new? Maybe that's, I don't know. Uh, yeah, Louie, go, go the fuck to sleep. Go the fuck to sleep. Uh, hey, buddy, thank you again for the raid and the resub. And I love you, and I love you, Miss Ellie, and go the fuck to sleep. Everybody tell Louie to go the fuck to sleep. Go the fuck to, to sleep. sleep. I do, I do like that I made this little thing. This is so, so nice. Like, so I used this while I was gone. Um, when I have scheduled streams, they will start up basically automatically as long as OBS is running. And I can start OBS from here. So, um, as long as OBS is running, Firebot will attempt to start the stream at the scheduled start time of 7 p.m. Eastern on Sundays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. Um, unless I do this. So when I do this, I can tell it to skip the next scheduled stream, which I am technically going to do uh, because I will not be streaming this Thursday evening because I will be getting ready to not be here for the weekend. Um, so... Firebot will do this check to see if this custom variable, this, all this is is a custom variable in Firebot, but it'll do a check to see if this variable has a, a value set. And if it's set to one, um, then it's like, nope, I'm not starting the stream. It's I'm skipping it and we'll, then it resets the value to zero for the next scheduled stream. So there's just, you know, more fun bullshit that I built in to automate the stream, which is just wild to me that I just why why do I do this I don't know why I do this also I know I have been really bad about the schedule so I have not been keeping up with the schedule uh, on the website like it's got the regular schedule um, also does this can I test different time zones with this I don't know that I can. I don't know if this works with different time zones is the thing. It's supposed to, but I don't know that it does. Can't you just change your location on your computer? I don't want to do that cuz that you know how that fucks with everything. I don't want to I don't want to break something inadvertently. I mean, you can just change it back. Yeah, but, you know, I get nervous. And? I get nervous. And? I just, it's nervous. Anyway, the point is... Listen. What? Listen, you're getting never-ending pasta tomorrow. Oh. Oh, I almost forgot. Oh. Oh, I can't what? wait for never-ending pasta bowl. I love Never Ending Pasta Bowl. Fritz, thanks for the lurk, buddy. Oh.
Do I have a button for the schedule? I don't think I do. I don't. Weird. Hey, is there somebody who's not in Eastern Time who can just click on that and see if the, the times are correct in your time zone? And where's the Zoomer when you need her? Oh, God, I know. Zoomer, get in here. You're in, like, Central Time or whatever. Come click the button. I can't tell her what to do anymore. She doesn't... I'm not her boss. I'm not technically her boss for the week, but my well. boss is out, and... I'm the I'm the substitute teacher. I was about to say you're the closest thing that she has to a boss this week. I was say I I have definitely been rolling the uh the TV cart in into stand up with with Shrek ready to go. Bet you have. No, we actually talked about everyone. Michael. Please control yourself. This is a mature party. And no. Lefay. How dare you? How absolutely dare you? Should I tell Lefay to fuck off? Okay. Uh, Lefay, Zara says that you should fuck off already. That's what Zara said. He said it, not me. I'm just saying Zara said for you to fuck off. That's all I'm saying. Uh... Zara LeFay says that she loves you in her own LeFay way. That's that's what Hold on. Hold on. Why are you here and not watching Hocus Fucking Pocus on today the day that you should be watching Hocus Fucking Pocus? Okay? With actual living legend Bette Midler in a lead role. Okay. Bette Midler, actual living legend. Wow. Wow. I'm. Wow. Wow. I'm. Wow. 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 Lefay, thank you for the raid, and get the fuck out and go watch. Go fuck off and watch Hocus Pocus. I actually, I uh, I'm behind. I need to watch. Uh, I'm I'm probably gonna watch it when I go to bed, um, because it is Halloween. So my tradition, like we watch Hocus Pocus anyway, we'll watch it regularly. But I have not watched uh, the Great Pumpkin. It's the Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown today. And I need to because that's my special Halloween thing. Um, so yeah, um, I I need to watch It's a Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown, because that's my that's my jam. And like Linus Linus Van Pelt really speaks to me as a person. I don't know. I I just that kid gets me. It's it's great. But thank you for the raid again, Lafay. You know I love you. Hello to Zara and Perny and LeFay and Ryu and Sandman and hello Cal. Yeah, uh, no syntax. Not even, not even, this is not even TypeScript, just JavaScript. Just vanilla ass JavaScript. No syntax highlighting, no nothing because the entire page is stored in a variable. <laughs> the only TypeScript on the page is the variable declaration itself. <laughs> it's perfect. Uh, hi, Cash. How are you? It is, it is the spoopiest of nights, as is tradition. As is tradition. Yeah. Um, no, Cal, this is fun because... The uh, the page here is actually just it's a response object. So my yeah, it's I take the page and I replace some variables in it. Actually, do I have how much of these do I still have in here? Newsbar default newsbar items newsbar items preview the you pick list. I could probably redo some of those and get like have it just do it on load and crap in the template if you want. Eh, you know it's fine. It's fine. It's 
This is my, this is, wait, did the music stop again? Where's the music? Oh, the it music did. finished again. Okay, we'll do more. <gasps> Ooh, that's nice. You're nice. Beautiful, okay. We're just doing some Zelda and chill in the background while I uh, work on stuff. Um, and it all does that. Yes, Pern, it absolutely makes sense, and I feel that. Like, like every once in a while, I'll watch people, videos, just like, not even talking about it, just people just working on, like, mechanical shit, um, or people who are doing woodworking and shit like that, and I don't know anything about it. I don't know the first thing about, like, like the inner workings of an internal combustion vehicle. I don't know about woodworking. I don't, like, just the shit that I've picked up just very briefly from watching people do it. Um, but I love watching it cause it's just like, it's just neat. It's just like stuff. You just think that it's neat. Uh, it is neat. Oh, Pern's talking about my face over here. It, well, I mean, listen, I don't get to say this very often, but Perny has a point. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are these takes doing? Oh my God. I'm, oh my God. I'm, <laughs> what are you, what are you do? Are you, are you getting into some shit that you shouldn't be getting into up there? I am standing by tanks about to get hit in the face with tank things. Are you I'm not a tank currently? Are, are you paladin paladinine currently? No, I'm reaping. Oh yeah, you should probably <laughs> get get out of tank range, buddy. Hmm. I I may or may not get a faster queue as a fucking reaper, so oh, okay. just DPS these things. That's fair. Listen, I like to hit things with a book, okay? I understand. I, I too, like to, D, to DPS. Lolly, uh, for those of you who don't know, this is Lollipop. Um, we used to work together, and now he just lives here. Um, and I keep feeding <laughs> him, me. and he keeps showing back up, so that's what happens. Um but Lollipop is back on his bullshit, and by his bullshit, I mean the critically acclaimed MMORPG from Square Enix, Final Fantasy XIV Online, um, and which he is just, he's having just a good old time with. Uh, every once in a while, you'll also see Ocarina of Tom. He's here too. Um, he's made of potatoes, which is just wild. Uh, he was ever off his bullshit? Um, he was. That's the thing with Final Fantasy XIV. You can play for a while and then you can take a break, especially for people who are up to date on it. So they'll play and they'll get all the current stuff through like the latest expansion. And it's like, all right, I'll take a break for a couple months until new content comes out. And then there's new content and it's just like, there you go. It's all, it's all gravy. So, yeah. You got all your crafting I'm, jobs at 70. Also, oh, Jesus, Sarah. I'm oh. also firmly into the MLM scheme known as submarines. That's also true. Uh, we we don't we okay. So Cash, we don't feed him after midnight only because he's not awake that long. Like he's by that point, he's either asleep mm. or he's in bed looking at TikToks and eating is just that's too much work for him at that point. It is true. Yeah. So that's it. Uh, no, cow. It's birds. Birds is what you're thinking of. Birds are not real. They are all government surveillance drones. That's it's birds. That's that's the one that's not real. Jesus oh. Christ! I rolled a 98 on the tank chest, assuming that the tank doesn't need it. Oh God! Oh buddy, I am getting it. Oh buddy, if it flies, it spies. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> That's just like the most ridiculous, like there are some weird fucking conspiracy theories out there in the world, but the whole, the, the birds as surveillance drones things is just like, that's a little head scratchy to me, but you know what, man, whatever, that's, that's perfect. Oh. I, I told you the, the current conspiracy theory that I have about the, the place that employs me. Oh God, no! You know how their their big selling point is that they've never laid anyone off, right? Oh, the the cons let me guess the conspiracy is that they don't have to lay anybody off because they they get people to quit before they can lay them off. Uh, they hired someone specific to make sure that that happens because developers are expensive. I see. I see. 
I always thought that one was a meme. I don't know if it's just a meme. I, listen, it's like anything else on the internet. Anything is a meme until someone actually believes it. Right? And you know, you know, you've been on this here internet long enough to know that there are people who will believe pretty much fucking anything. It's just... Sounds like constructive dismissal. Oof. Oof. Oh, uh, yeah. Oof. It's, it's why you gotta you gotta know your audience when you're making jokes. Because, uh, boy, howdy, if they're gonna take you seriously when you're when you're just trying to do a humor. Yeah. Corpozo knows. Yep. 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 Um. Hmm. And if this tank would roll on this chest piece, I'd be so happy. You should probably, uh, you should, you should probably tell the tank to roll on that chest piece so that they can not get it, and, and then you can. Well, I, I'm assuming it's the tank. It could have been anyone else, actually. That's or fair. Just, they need to roll. They need to roll on it. That's fair. I need to know if a, I need to know if a 98 is my, is my dream or my meme. This is this is drop downs and shit. What is this? That's that's the menu stuff. That's the news bar preview. And the rest of this is just yeah, so this is drop downs and shit. Huh? It's like code review or something? I'm I'm pushing my code. I'm committing and pushing my code. What is this? It's it's called Git. Have you have you heard of it? It's new. No. It's this new thing that we're trying called source control. Where when we make changes, we keep track of it in case we fuck something up, which we will, and we have to back no. it out. I write everything perfect the first time. You don't, do you even write anything anymore? I do. We'll stop doing that. That's bad for you. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's bad for your health. I, uh, what source control says CQ? Yeah, you of all people. Pre-alpha, pre-alpha back in the 90s, right? <laughs> uh, nerd shit. I love nerd shit. All right, let's go back to the website then. Um, I still have the countdown. By the way, I'm still really proud. Okay, so for those of you who weren't here earlier, I have a countdown at the beginning of my stream. Um, like so many people like a countdown or a, a getting started or whatever. Um, almost ready for public beta? Almost. One day, Git will get there. One day, maybe. Uh, it's tiny, it's a little upstart project. Um, so my, my countdown is, um, it was a video. And it was, it was a thing I built in After Effects, and it just was just like a, a statically rendered video. Um, will you quit asking me that? Um, so I took over the last couple of days, both on and off stream, <clears throat> I went and I built from scratch a web page, and that's what this code is here. Um, what it is, it is mostly style sheets with a little bit of HTML and some JavaScript for the, some of the more complicated things. Um, oh, CodePlex. I miss CodePlex. SourceForge has just gone downhill, but I miss CodePlex legitimately. Um, also, Perny, oh, please don't mistake, I'm not competent. I just, I know enough to be dangerous. Um, anyway, my countdown is now, it's no longer a static video. It's now a web page. So this is actually a web page um, that does my countdown. Uh, the countdown scene has a uh, an audio track behind it, which I also recently did some stuff too. I think, was that yesterday that I did the audio changes? Yeah, it had to be, it had to be. Um, so the background music that I have my, for my countdown is a little bit different because the song that I licensed from Shutterstock um, 
when you license audio f from Shutterstock, you get as part of the downloads, not just the like the whole song itself. You get certain loops, and you also get what are called the stems. And the stems are basically like individual parts of the song, like um, like one might be like the drum line, one might be like the bass line, one might be like the actual melody, one might be like the chorus, the backing chorus, the harmony, and so. Um, I took and I fucked around with the pieces of it to make my countdown music different. And so I really like the way it turned out. Um, so when I go live again, I might do a daytime stream tomorrow because I actually got most of my packing for this weekend done already. Um, so when the next time I go live, you can, if you show up at the beginning of stream, you can hear like the countdown or the, the, the countdown music and it's a little bit different um, than it used to be. And it's, I like it. It's a little like it, it, it's not so like static in your face. It kind of like builds and then, you know, recedes a little bit. It's, it's really nice. I like the way I did it. Anyway, the point is um, I have that and I have this now, this page that uh, just renders in OBS <clears throat> uh, and and that's my new countdown. And what's nice about it is I can do additional things to it in the future if I want to. So what I have here is I have it in a page here. And once again, you can see it's here. So if I want to, at some point, um, I have a few things that are built in here now to where if I want to take the clock that's, act, that's uh, moving in the center, and I want to move it off to one side for some content, some other content that I want to show, I can do that. So I can actually move that clock over, and then when I'm done, I can programmatically move it back. And that's some of the stuff that I want to do um, that I'm really looking forward to, to messing around with. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do yet, but it now that it's a web page and there's like some scripting behind it, it opens up a lot of possibilities for me to do more shit with, which I'm really, really jazzed about. Um, so, uh, it can also go to the right and, and come back. So that's, um, that's what I'm, that's what I'm working on. That's what, I, that's what I've been working on the last couple of days is just taking that static video and then converting it over to be a web page so that it's, I can do more the left and the right. Yeah. I built in both sides, Perny. It can go both fucking sides. So yeah, get wrecked or whatever. Um, but yeah, like if I want to change like the messages that pop up at the bottom of the screen, so See, there's like the the stream is about to begin. You give it a minute because it's going to change here in a second. That's inaccurate because of the browser throttling, but that's not a big deal. We'll just come on, come on, little message. You can do it. There we go. So like that, uh, that's fed from this list here. So I can change this stuff whenever I want. Two hops this time, and then of course our favorite. Reverse! Reverse! But like, I can change this stuff anytime I want, so if I want something different for a stream, I can do that. Um, so like for, say, I want to do a thing where I want to have it at like the four, four and a half minute mark, slide over to the one side, have a thing that fades in that says, hey, we're raising money for Trans Lifeline, which we are right now, by the way. Um, if you would like to donate to Trans Lifeline, you can absolutely do so uh, right here on uh, on Twitch. Um, we're using the first party built-in charity tools, so you can go donate. And we are already over $4,500 of our $5,000 goal, so we are very, very close to hitting our goal, which I'm really excited about. But the point is, if I wanted to show something on the countdown, saying that we're you know currently raising money for Trans Lifeline, like the graphic up there at the top, I could do that now. I have like the a lot of the plumbing in place to do that. So that's something I'm really looking forward to doing. Um, so I'm just 
I'm getting there. Uh, yeah, yes, yeah, EKY, you can DM me. I just don't know. I don't know when I'm going to be able to get back to you because of everything going on this week, and then I got to get caught up on some other stuff next week. But yeah, shoot me a DM. I'll uh, I'll hit you back when I get a minute. Um, but yeah, this is this is my shit that I've been I've been working on this week. Like since I got back from TwitchCon and kind of like been home and rested. I just kind of had a surge of like, I want to do stuff. And this is something I've been wanting to do for a while. Just haven't really found the motivation. And when the motivation hits, you kind of got to go with it. Um, on ideas for my lower third. Okay. But yeah, so that's, this is the countdown. This is what it is. Um, and this is, I might go stick this on GitHub somewhere right now. I just, it's, Saved to OneDrive, but I might go throw that somewhere. Now let's see if we can figure out the schedule page. So for this, I'm using I'm using full calendar, which I want to go see. This is the calendar widget that I use. So if I do like. Um, and do the list. Yeah, this is, this is basically what I'm using. I type all of, uh, all of this here, um, for the, um, for the countdown. Yeah, I did all this manually. I mean, you know, some copy pasta, but yeah, I just, I do, I do most of it manually. You know, and I've always got the browser open to look for look at reference shit because I never remember anything. I don't fucking remember syntax for any of this shit. But yeah, I typed all this out. The internet's for. That's what the internet's for. That's what Stack Overflow is for. <clears throat> but yeah, I typed all this out. This is. I mean, a lot of this here is copy paste because you can see there's like patterns to all this shit. So I copy pasted a lot of this stuff. <gasps> I just found an inefficiency that I'm fixing something that I intended to fix. There we go. I fixed that. Okay. Um, let me make sure that still works. Two second fade in. Two second fade in. Start the clock. Okay, clock still works. Um... What syntax? You know, right? Um, you want to make them functions for me? <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, I got functions. They're just not like totally broken up. It's fine. You know. Listen, this part I did today. I did this this like earlier today from. Let's see my calendar. Ooh, get Rick. Wow. Ouch, buddy. Okay, let's go to the docs for full calendar. Um Time zone. Okay, it says local is the default. I don't trust that though. It says unnecessary to specify. I don't fucking believe you though. I do not for one minute believe you. Because there's the ICS that I pulled down. Uh, let's see. Where's my terminal here? Nope. Okay, I want to do... Um...
Does that work? Let's see if this works. It might work. Can I just... Do I not need it with the period? Oh, wait, wait. That's what it is. I need the space. Okay. Oh, that doesn't work because of the, um, it can't pull down the, yeah, let's go do this real quick. Um, let me doop, doop, doop over to the Azure portal. Doop 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 over to the Azure portal. Uh, it's underscore TV storage. Underscore dot TV. Where's my containers? Visual. Um. What's the? Where's the thingy? There's a thing in the Azure portal for like, um, configuration. Where's the core shit? Your face is core shit. You shut your mouth. No. Okay. That's fair. <clears throat> Let me look something up real quick. Um, Azure storage cores. I'm just looking over in the Azure portal. Um, Where the hell is it? God damn it, I can't find it now. I don't know where it went. What's an Azure portal? Um, so, Perny, have you ever heard of AWS, like Amazon's web services that powers fucking a, a bajillion websites and all the stuff that's behind it? Um, Microsoft has their own similar service called Microsoft Azure. Same basic principle. Bunch of computer resources that Microsoft has in all of their data centers versus Amazon's. Uh, the Azure portal, Microsoft cloud. yes, the Microsoft cloud, 
Um, the Azure portal is the website where I go to manage all of my Microsoft Azure resources. So all of my stuff, like my website, so it's underscore.tv lives uh, in Microsoft's Azure cloud. Um, again, similar to AWS, just Microsoft versus Amazon. So I'm just trying to figure out how I can get this damn thing to load. There used to be a thing for this. But I can't fucking find it now. You do have to pay, but I'm using so many cheap and or free services that I pay next to nothing for what I have in Azure. Um, so the way that my website is built is it is statically generated. And what that means is there's no like, or there's very little like backend server infrastructure to like talk back and forth to the website to make it do things. Basically everything the website does is inside like the HTML pages and the JavaScript files themselves. Um, so it doesn't have to have a server that does a lot of processing on the back end. The pages are just there and there's just shit on the pages, which is really all I need. So that's a static website because there's not all of like the server, like scripting functionality on the back end for um, in Microsoft Azure, they offer static websites for free and you can have up to like 10 per subscription. And I only have a couple of sites, like I've got zunderscore.tv, zunderscore.com, and like a couple of other things. But there's nothing, because they're static websites and they don't, they don't have to do anything other than like, here, here's the page. Here, take the page and go. And that's all that they have to do. Microsoft offers that for free. It's, if stuff gets super, super busy, my site might slow down a little bit, but there's not much on my site. Like it's not that complicated. So oh, that reminds me that I need to um, pester uh, the, the credit union to stop using your fucking estimate tool and actually swap back over to the official one. Oh, you're like, mm, you know what? I'm not going to do this anymore. Now that the official one is actually being maintained again. Yes. Yeah. I mean, I don't care. Again, I don't pay for that. That's free. I I, I, I pay free ninety nine for it. But they uh they complain regularly that it takes forever to spin up, and I'm like, yeah, it's because you're using Zunders, and you need to stop doing that. That's fair. <laughs> um, man, where in the hell is the setting? I can't find this goddamn setting. I paid free fifty. That's right. You better believe it. I I managed to cheap out and get a an entire database. Angular web page, like an Angular front end for it for free. I'm literally paying like 50 cents a month to maintain a domain name. Yeah, like it's, boy, it's great. It's great stuff. <laughs> uh, what's this? Container properties? Access policies? No. Properties? No. Metadata. No. Ah. I have that. Wait a minute. I can't find it. Son of a bitch. I can't find it. Oh, God. There it is. Jesus Christ. Oh, okay. God, it's... Hey, does this work now? No, it doesn't like that. Okay, so we're going to go... This is localhost.
Uh, I wonder if it works without the port number. Yeah, it does. <clears throat> okay. God. Took me fucking a week to find that setting. All right, now let's go back to the docks for this. Okay, that'll refresh. What what are you what are you mad about now? You're allowed to access it. What's your problem? For shit's sake. I don't no not in that one, you dingus. There we go. All right. Uh, that's that. I don't need that anymore. Oh, I s it's time zone with a capital Z. Okay, so it's not changing at all. I don't know. But no time zone related plugins are present, the calendar will do UTC coercion, which means all dates will be forced into UTC based native date objects, even though those dates technically did not originate in UTC. The hack for working around browser limitations works quite well. You'll need to remember to use date objects, UTC flavored methods like get UTC date and to UT string. Mm -hmm. Am I use? I don't think I am. I'm using just the main and the iCal, but that's it. What versions do we have now? I don't want to use moment because moment's fucking deprecated. Users with script tags. All right, so let's add, let's add looks on. What version of full, we're on 619 now? Jesus, all right. Let's just go ahead and update it and see what fucking breaks. Probably everything. It doesn't. That's... I'm surprised that still works. But the time zone still doesn't actually fucking work. Uh, let's go, let me make sure, let's go, where are my plugins? Uh, 
Oh, I don't need it because, yeah. right, because it's not within, yeah. Can I do a search? I, how come I can't search? Events. Event sources. Events from an iCalendar feed. I knew that was going to happen. Let's open the file and see what it looks like. Ah. Uh. What do we have here? Oh, it's got the old, uh, the old stuff on it. Yeah, that's 19... Oh, shit. Wait, no, that's got the time zone ID on it. Oh, I would love to, I would love to validate my iCalendar feed. Let's try that real quick before I I wonder if it's I wonder if it's just because it's Outlook. Okay, it says no no errors found, which is fine. Hi, paintbrush. How free do I feel compared to AWS? This is going to serve at 24 cents a month. Um, like, well, with my, with my static stuff, like it's like actually free, like it's free, free, like free, for free, free, free. Um, you know, I can show you on. So pricing, Azure pricing. Um, pricing by product, web, uh, static web apps. Like it's literally a free tier. Um, includes a hundred gigs of, of bandwidth, which I, for my stuff, I will probably never exceed that. You can have up to two custom domains. So like a root and a dub, 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 um, comes with built in SSL, uh, comes with like 500 meg of storage um or you get two deployment slots they're 250 a piece so you get 500 megs um like it's yeah yeah the 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 static the static site the static site and again this is just hosting like static resources um, you can get, um, you can get Azure functions, but then that starts to scale up from there. But if you have just like HTML, CSS, JavaScript images that you're serving, just that stuff, free tier will do it. That'll do it. And so, yep. All right. That was the buzzer. I do have to call it for the evening. Um, I will probably keep hammering on this. I might spin up a VM in a different time zone just to fuck with this, but um, we'll see how that goes. Yeah, no, you're welcome. You're welcome, for sure. Like my Azure bill, what was my Azure bill last month? Um, for these underscore stuff, which includes underscore dot com dot TV, uh, I have my DNS over there, which costs a little bit. Um, let's view the invoice. 
Actually, no, let's go to cost analysis and see what I got. Um, cost analysis. I have a SQL database over there, which is like five bucks. My DNS, because I have several domains over there, like 250. Storage was a buck 58. I have a key vault, which is basically nothing. Uh, so, yeah. If I were to shut down the SQL database, which I don't know that it's even doing anything right now. Um, I'd be paying like five bucks a month. Uh, I don't currently do anything with containers, no. No. Um, eventually I want to. Um, I want to spin up an, an Azure Kubernetes service cluster and play with that, but I got to look at pricing and see how much that's going to end up costing me because I know that will that can get pretty pricey pretty fast. Um, but that's... Uh, let's see, where's the... Resources. Where's the SQL server? Where's the SQL database? Oh, that's running my, um, that's running my link shortener service, which is still not entirely working right, but it, it's fine. It does what it needs to do. It's fine. Okay. We're, uh, we're done. We're done. Um, I might, tomorrow I might spend some time on stream working on the, uh, uh, the calendar thing to try to figure out why it won't, why it's not translating time zones properly. So we'll see what happens. No, CKY, absolutely not. I refuse. Um, yeah, that'll do it. Um, let's see. No stream on Thursday. No stream on Sunday. I will, I will probably stream during the day tomorrow. Otherwise I will be back next Tuesday. Same bat time, same bat channel. Um, at 7 PM Eastern time. Uh, no, Karen, I'm sorry. I, 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 Reverse. actually, I love you. Reverse. So, just, just the way it's gotta be. Just the way it is. Oh. All right. Um, hey, don't forget, uh, we're still raising money for Trans Lifeline. If you would like to give, you can give at any time right here on the channel. Um, just come here. There's also a URL there if you need to, if you're on mobile or anything like that. Twitch.tv slash charity slash underscore. You can give anytime. Um, I'm going to leave that open through probably through the rest of the year. Uh, definitely through the end of November. Um, I want to try to hit that $5,000 by the end of November. That's my goal. I want us to hit that $5,000 before um, the end of uh, before the end of November, Astro Canuck. Hi, buddy. Here, let me sh let me before we run away, let me shout you out real quick. Uh, Astro Canuck's been on a on a tour, going and doing some stargazings and and stuff. Uh, I got to meet him at TwitchCon, and he is just an absolute fucking delight. I met so many goddamn Canadians at TwitchCon. It's wild. Like there's so many of y'all. Um. I, it has been it's been a fantastic night buddy thank you thank you for stopping and I appreciate it um, all right uh, we're getting out of here I gotta go okay I gotta I gotta skadoodle um, where is I gotta go see who's doing stuff who's doing things um, bye they are replicating yeah Every time you turn around, there's a new Canadian. It's wild. Ah. Uh, uh, who's doing stuff? Boy, there's all kinds of people doing stuff tonight. Uh, Matt is streaming Barbie Horse Adventures riding camp. Of course he is. Uh, science. Huh? Oh, okay. Never mind. Never yeah. mind. Yeah. 
Uh, let's see. Da -da 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 -da. Brian's doing Dead Space. Calyx is doing Ooblets. Oh, yeah, Ooblets came out. Uh, Zamadaya is streaming. I don't know why I decided to call him Zamadaya, but here we are. Oh, boy, yeah, he's doing spoofy games. Uh, let's see. What is... Hi, Karen. Uh... Hey. Before we go, I gotta I gotta spill a little secret that I hope hope uh, is new and exciting for everyone. Go on then. Did you know that Karen Day is her name? You know that I got to validate this in person. I got oh, to verify really? in person. In when person. Was, when was this? This was last weekend at TwitchCon. Because they held TwitchCon in Vegas, where Karen lives. Mm-hmm. She lives there, you know. Yep. When you eat too much poutine, that explains it. That it's the French fries and the gravy and the cheese curds. It'll do it every time. All right, let's uh, let's go see uh. Zam's doing spoopy. Uh, yeah, he's doing. I don't want to do spoopy. I don't want to go spoopy. Which is. That's a tough one on a night like this, isn't it? Oh, oh god. Matt's playing with his wife, Sunny. Okay, now we're going to go see. Yeah. We're going to go see. We're going to go see Matt. He's just an absolute delight. I got to spend a lot of time with him last weekend, too. Um, so, all right. There are the raid messages for both subs and non-subs alike. Grab one at your leisure. Let's go show lots of love to Matt and Sonny. Um, because they are just absolutely delightful and wonderful. And I love them very much. And you should, too, because that's the way it works around here. So get used to it. Um, all right. I will probably see you all tomorrow. If I don't, I will definitely see you next Tuesday um, for um, more of something. I don't know what it is, but I'll be here. I will absolutely hug. Hubris. I will absolutely hug Bean for you. Hi, bye, buddy. <laughs> all right. I will see you all. Uh, I'll see you all soon-ish, sometime. Um, hey, as always, please remember, be good to yourselves, be good to each other, and I will see you, uh, I'll see you when I see you. Bye. Penis.